Good morning. I uh, was driving to work this morning and <clears throat> I was having uh, some ideas about something that I wanted to do, but I know I promised to read some poems. I didn't get to do it in Savannah, and so I'm going to read these poems too anyway because I promised to you read these poems. <clears throat> This first poem, well, all these poems actually were written, I think, in 1973, 4, in that period when I was writing poems. This first one is called The Silent Bay. As the wind moves the waves of water, so your creative energy moves the cosmos. The waves are only you. The sea is only you. The sailor anchors in the silent bay, his reflection but a heart away. Justice for all. O loving heart, O giver of humanity, all want to live. Under one roof, one society, our civilization of dreams, come to our children a single gift. All with beating heart and sap that flows the inanimate too, and our vision clear. O oh, humanity, clearing vision we see, all under one roof, one sweet reality. This next poem I wrote on the back porch of the meditation hall in Baba's house in Ananda Kanan, and uh, during a period where uh, a kind of kirtan was taking place inside, and while I was writing the poem, which is really a stream of consciousness poem. Uh, some musicians came out to tune their guitars to change the kirtan in the middle of writing it. That's what it refers to. There's no title to this. So, a poet on the Ganges sat, a page torn from his book, a tissue bee. His face wet with tears from your mountain spring. None but Guru can fill the page's space. None but Guru gives bliss to life. Music touches the air. Musicians on your back porch play, tuning for the song of songs. Your altar in the center rests. A kind kirtan we give to you. We hope it pleases you. And then it continues, entitled Petals. Petals of Sahasara sprinkled like snowflakes upon your feet. Only love makes life complete. Your honey sweet touches my throat, always choked without words. Parama Purusha, all ocean be, we will be free. Child of the rising sun of love divine, the enslaved shall be free, is ringing in the ears. His smile has spread, the stars are spreading in all directions drawn by the sweet scent of his proximity. Noble warrior, a vast plague do you see, Parma Purusha settled in your heart. The good cling to the warmth of their breast, tears streaming down their faces. Take the hand of the one you love, kiss his fingers, we will be free. The wicked kneel in terror, all bow before thee. I have another <clears throat> booklet of poems called The Mango Tree, but uh, there at the house, because Vima rearranged things and I couldn't find them. But this is a series also of poems <clears throat> written in about the same period, time period. Take me. When my energy is spent, when I can no longer think to move, where will I be then? A gentle softness rests my head, a loving remembrance of constant nurture. Nothing can hold me from you. What else is there to do? How can I know? I know only you. You, my one true friend, how can I stay? How can I say where I have been? Yes, how can I say where I have been? Forgive me, please. Take what you will, nothing but you have I lost. Take me all, that I not be lost. Don't pass me by. <clears throat> I came from dust, blown from your breath. 
I stand upright and think. Billions of years I hold in time, each locked in molecule. And now this thought, this longing felt, it is my fuel. No one in past or future or even now knows you or I. Earth and sky, they pass us by. My unknown of unknowns, you and I. The heart, the heart, the heart. Don't pass me by. This was entitled Baba. <clears throat> In the early dawn, soft awakens me. In thoughts of you, deeper I go. In ancient caress, the Maya fails to keep us apart. Floating in coincidence, a spark of love melts Maya now. A greater union, my supreme actor, my supreme director. Blazing fire of becoming one, you and you. Grace greater than any play, love greater than Leela be. My Lord, I observer be, your love greater than any be. One more, then I'll stop. <clears throat> this one is called Please. Guruji, I have never known you, my one friend. I can never really have you, my real friend. I will never find you. I float through life, moved by life, moved by thought, moved by a heart afraid. I'm afraid I cannot find you. I'm afraid your grace will never come. But why does my heart ache? And why do tears fill my eyes? Why does the thought of you linger forever? Please take me. Please rest my painful heart. Please let me sit with you once more under the cool shade of the tree. It is only my heart that cries for you. I don't care for anything else. I'm a scar.